Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I am in South Tampa today. Well, actually, it's more town and country Tampa area today. I'm about to uh, embark on this 2016 Cadillac Escalade journey. This thing is going to get uh, one step polish with Sunday's one step. It's my brand new one step polish. As you can see, it's got some nasty film all over it, which I'm gonna do my best to remove and that the top of the pillars also looks crazy. I got uh, another potential client that just fired up his beast over there. Uh, he's probably gonna come over and talk to me. So I'm probably gonna cut this short for a second. Um, but uh, this is a 2016 Escalade that is gonna get Sunday's one step, then uh, the Amplify Prep Solution wipe down, and then I'll be applying the Elite Master Coat Fast 5 Ceramic to all of this, including the wheels. Let me show it to you. So wheels are very dirty. Gonna get those cleaned up and prepped. I'm also gonna be ceramic coating the shock bodies because, well, why not? And then you can see how dirty this truck is and whatever that is nobody knows so we'll see if you're moving all that gunk off of it not sure if i can get any chrome back there but we will see all right so that gentleman definitely came by and stopped very nice guy and has a 39 foot statement he wants ceramic coated so you don't know what a statement is <laughs> that's a bad boat bad boat bad bad man that's uh that's the boat you buy when you've got fu money and i don't mean to talk about my clients like that but that's a bad boat that's all um anyway so i gotta get on this escalade all right guys and girls so i polished everything but this fender on this side and it looks awesome compared to how it did. You can see all these random scratches and it's really hazy. The other problem is this thing has some major clear coat failure, which you can see is all up in here. All that residue I thought was like on top of the clear, it, it's oxidation. The clear coat is literally failing. You can see it all across the top. Um, you can see it at the top of this door. Get up here. So if you can see how bad it is, I just polished over it with the new Sunday's One Step and the orange Buff and Shine pad on my DeWalt DA. Yes, I need to clean that pad. I just did the pillars and you can see those are really bad too. So all this is polished and it's just clear coat failure. Um, let me show you the roof. Get up there. Look how bad the roof is. So that's not bad at all. But this is definitely, literally, I don't think he's ever washed the roof. So unfortunately, there's nothing I can do for this roof. And you can see all this, this has already been polished. So unfortunately, we only can do what we can do. Now you can see all of that. So I'm gonna put the ceramic on and we're gonna get this to slow way down, but unfortunately, it sucks. It's a nice car. Uh, I got the wheels all done. I got the suspension all cleaned and ceramic coated. I did put some uh, Trust to Impress on the tires, diluted 50-50. So I got the wheels completely done and now I'm working on the paint, like I mentioned. Got really good gloss where I polished, looks awesome. You notice this fender isn't polished and it is completely muted compared to the door behind it. So, all right, well, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I'm gonna wash that pad. Actually, I'm gonna go do the trim on the other side so that that doesn't happen again. I don't have to clean the pad again. I usually clean my pad, I don't know, about three to four times on a vehicle. Um, I do use the same pad. I just keep cleaning it and using it. Uh, but when it gets like that, you're basically just rubbing dirt back into the paint. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go do the other trim because it's going to end up like this anyway. And then I'm going to wash the pad and then keep polishing. So I'll bring you back when I've got some more done. All right. So I've got 
the exterior pretty much done. I'm just going around it now with the new trim hydrate. You can see how nasty that looks. Now, just put a little bit of this trim hydrate. Doesn't take a lot, just a little bit on the towel. And look, that little bit that I put on there will do this entire section of trim. I like to go to the edge first, just like this, get my border done so you don't get it all up on the paint. And then you just, you literally just massage it in. Now remember, you need to clean the plastic first. First thing I did was clean it with the uh, Infinite Purpose Cleaner. And then, now I'm just wiping this in. Nothing fancy. This will dry, it will look awesome as it does now. But just a quick, see how faded this is? Just a quick little wipe and brings everything back. And this stuff lasts a long time. We actually use this on sea -Doo Sparks in the salt water. It's super strong, super good stuff. If you need your trim to be back to its original hydratedness, hydration, I guess. Hydratedness. Just making up words, guys. That's how I do it. But there you go. See? Looks awesome. Faded. Awesome. All right. Just real quick on this. Look at the difference. And it's dry. All right. I'm going to get all this trim done. Notice how this looks. And I'll bring you back for the final walk around after I get all the trim treated and then give it a wipe down and then I'll be shooting the the finale of the video. All right, here's the grand finale. She looks great from here. All right, so this thing has been neglected for a very long time. It's a 2016 which puts it at uh almost nine years old at this point um and while the body looks amazing as far as do you know no no real dents or dings there's a few definitely got a few dings that i saw there's one right there you may or may not be able to pick it up oh i'm sorry it's a little higher it's right there yeah, you can see it oh i can see it anyway uh so we got some really bad clear coat failure on the whole roof as I showed you uh, and the edges of pretty much every panel this ceramic definitely will slow it down but unfortunately is not going to fix it um, you may remember how faded out the black plastics were I got that all straight with trim hydrate that's a new product for 2024 um, I polished everything with the new Sunday's One Step Polish, that's also brand new for 2024. Uh, that is the polish you can use in direct sunlight that cuts pretty much, <laughs> it, it cuts better than any compound I've used and it finishes better than any finishing polish that I've used on most paints. Now there are the exceptions to the rules uh, and for the most part, this Sunday's One Step I, I literally haven't used anything anything else since we released that product. I haven't needed to, uh, especially when you're working outside. That stuff cuts and finishes awesome. Uh, and it doesn't dry up in the sun, which is pretty awesome. I recently did a video where I showed you guys in the video uh, how I literally polished the entire uh, Silverado. It's the... Uh, like ruby red colored one not too far back in the video archives if you will um, I showed you that I polished the entire truck and came back to the first section I polished and it was still wet and able to be removed with zero effort so Sunday's one step polish is awesome um, crazy clear coat failure again all up on it all over the top of this door, all over the top of this fender. It's just everywhere, unfortunately. The roof is really bad. The complete roof is all like that. 
Not sure how it got like that. Not sure of anything other than my client said, I know I should have done this sooner. So I cleaned the fender wells and the suspension. You'll notice everything looks nice in there. Um, I did ceramic the shock bodies or the overflow, whatever the hell you want to call that thing. Uh, and the bodies on the back. I hand polished with Sundays, just a quick polish on the faces. Then I put the Fast Five Ceramic on the wheel faces and the lip there. Uh, the tires got uh, dressed to impress, diluted 50-50, sprayed on and wiped in. Um, nothing I can do with this chrome tip, unfortunately, it is dead. Um, I used the trim hydrate on all of the black plastics on the truck, as I mentioned before. Um, what else? The All the paint and all the glass got Elite Master Coat Fast 5 ceramic coating. Um, for you guys that are interested in VersaCoat 13, we've reformulated it, which is why I haven't been talking about it. Uh, it will be released as a hand applied product and it is absolutely amazing. But I'll get to more of that uh, shortly. Um, front end, all cleaned up, trim done, bugs removed. Um, I tried to polish the headlight situ or the uh, light bar plastic, but unfortunately I can't get in there with my polisher and it just was taking too long by hand. But I can get all that yellowing off. It just it wasn't part of the deal and I tried. I just, uh, I need to get like a two inch uh, polishing pad and get in there, but uh, maybe maybe next time I'll knock that out. Again, wheels and tires done. This thing does look great from afar. I just got inside and did a basic interior as well, nothing fancy. I did wipe out the door jams, I vacuumed everything, wiped everything down, hit the windows real quick. I did not do the windshield. The interior is never part of a paint correction and ceramic coating job for me or a, a, a package per, for, for me. Uh, it is additional to do the interior, but on these bigger jobs, I always like for my customers to feel like they're getting incredible value. Uh, in anything that I do, but specifically when I do a polish and ceramic coating job, I generally throw in a wipe and vacuum on the interior for free and then hit the door jams on my way out and that's it. So that's where we're at. So this thing is good to go. I'm into this thing for about six hours, nothing super fancy, and I did it all in direct sunlight in the almost 90 degree heat today i mean i literally did it right here out in his parking lot or in his driveway right there no shade no nothing good to go so anyway if you guys got questions for me 813-846-4406 is my cell um check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what i got going on and uh, if you guys are outdoorsy, uh, my site, foxydropoutdoors.com, will be live in the next 30 days, hopefully. I uh, got a lot going on, trying to figure out what the best order of business is for that particular um, company and trying to get all the products together and built and, uh, you know, more than just prototypes. But uh, we are pretty much good to go, and I'll have more information about that soon. Um, I am going to start doing a lot of work on my other businesses. Uh, but as far as the detailing thing goes, if you need me, I am available. I will uh, absolutely get you on the schedule if you need a detail done. Give me a shout, 813-846-4406. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.